You look good. Thank you. What, what, what do you want? Yeah, of course. Yes, well, with me now here is uh, the Deputy Attorney General, and that is none other than uh, Honorable Minister Mwesigwa Rukutana. Thanks for joining me, Honorable. Thank you. Uh, well, you have just come out of court. We know that you are, you are going to be going back for another round of session. Yes. Uh, so far, what are the areas of contention? The petitioner is trying to substantially alter his petition by bringing in what we perceive as a new cause of action. As you may know, this petition is time-bound by the Constitution, by the Presidential Elections Act, and uh, by the rules of procedure. But when you bring something new, which you ought to have filed at first, then you are bringing in something new, and that prejudices the timeliness of the application. Because this application, is, this petition is supposed to be heard, decided, and the judgment is going to be, is supposed to be given uh, within 30 days from the date of filing. So basically that is why we said no, uh, they shouldn't allow the amended petition. We should proceed with the petition to which we have already answered. From your understanding of things, what is the intention? Is to maybe make better their case, in my view. But as I said, this is a peculiar case whereby you are given time, study the elections, know what went wrong, and know what you want to complain ag about. They had all the time, they made a complaint, and they were served, but now they turn around and bring in new things, which, if they were to be allowed by this court, would have to seek for time to go and consult our clients on. Now, in effect, that would lay the determination of the case provided for in the Constitution, which, as I said earlier, ought to be within 30 days. The law allows us to amend. So um, this petition was intended to buttress our original petition, but also to clarify, to give specifics. Uh, you know, in the original petition, we raised certain issues. When we are talking about bribery, this petition now will tell you where and how that this amendment tells you where and how that bribery took place. Just give us a hint on some of uh, the new amendments that they are, they are trying to smuggle in. We have not had time because we have just been served in court. We have, we have served uh, about 20 minutes past the court time, 20 past 10. By looking at it, in so many areas they are asking for a recount, which was not pleaded before. They are alleging that the, the biometric uh, system was not working very well. They are alleging that the, the results, uh, the data forms were tampered with. Things like those. That is exactly what we are going to look at. And they had time to study all that, put it in the petition, so that we could look at uh, everything. The, 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 the question now is the timeliness of the petition. By the time we decide to petition against uh, an election, you, you should look at each and everything that you want to bring forth. Our colleagues are to the other side. They are, they are not in agreement with what you are doing. Mm. Uh, don't you see that as a something that is likely to fail the takeoff of the case? It's within their right, you know, to respond to our, 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 our application. But at the end of it all, it is the Supreme Court to decide. As officers of court, we only have one responsibility um, to make our case, and uh, the other responsibility is with the judges, the justices of the Supreme Court. So we will wait the outcome of, of our application. Uh, if I can ask you this, of course, their candidate almost came, um, came the third with a very um, small percentage. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at his submission and the case that he's trying to make before court, uh, do you think that he has a good case? He has no case at all, leave alone whether it is good or bad. He definitely has no case at all. 
but that is for the determination of their lordships. Secondly, procedurally, it doesn't matter whether he got, even, even if he got zero under the law, as long as he was uh, a candidate, he could petition. There's nothing that procre procures him from petitioning merely because his votes were minimal. He can say, I got zero or one because there were malpractices or because things were not done in accordance with the law. What is important is that he participated in the election and that uh, in his view, things didn't go well. So it doesn't matter how many votes he got. But of course, in this particular case, as I said, talking as a lawyer, talking as somebody who participated in the election, the petition discloses no merit whatsoever. The, the, op the opposition, Forum for Democratic Change, mm -hmm. uh, wanting uh, the, the go-forward political pressure group to allow, him, to allow them to merge their case uh, as an attorney general, will this be acceptable? According to the rules I know, there's no provision for a merger because if they came in, that would presuppose that they themselves have filed a case. You cannot merge a case with, nothing, with something which is not there. To merge presupposes that they themselves had a case and time have lapsed within which they could file a case. So there is nothing to merge. They cannot join at this particular time because filing ought to have been within 10 days of the, of the, of the, of the declaration of results. The days have lapsed and uh, to the best of my knowledge, there is no case that has been filed. Now, from getting some FDC people as key witnesses in this matter is acceptable, sir? Well, uh, the petitioner or even the respondent is not uh, precluded from bringing whatever witness he deems fit. And by the way, witnesses in the in election petitions are by way of affidavits. They can get affidavits from whoever. It doesn't matter. So they are free. So as, as government now, are you ready now to face off your colleagues in, um, on the other side? How are you looking at these well, uh, as you could see, gymnastics here? As you could see, we are very ready. I'm leading a team of uh, about 10 lawyers. You saw them in court. Uh, the Attorney General is there. He's not participating in this matter because he has been uh, uh, sued. He's a respondent. That's why me, I'm taking the lead. But the uh, our forces are there and we are very, very ready. You on top of the situation? We are on top of the situation. Thanks, uh, Honorable Kutana, for joining us.